Hello, people of the internet, and welcome to the second Cream Tea podcast. With me, Alex Ridgely, and... Lizzie. Yeah. Um, we're going to go straight into things of the week. Starting up with film of the week. And i uh, got two shout-outs. Well, no. One shout-out for two subjects. Um, my friend Connor from college. Hey, Connor. Um, he suggested Monsters, Inc. You realise there was a second one? It didn't. No. It, it hasn't been advertised on television and being... Um, on t on television, apparently the or like the little kid wasn't in the second one at all. It was like a back in time thing, and it it looked really really terrible. But they brought out a three D version. Did you did you see that Amazing. advertised on television this morning? Um, and same shout out for Connor for TV of the week, Game of Thrones. I've heard good things about Game of Thrones. Mm. I don't have any details there, so there's really no point in looking. But okay. I've, no, I've heard good things about Ga uh, Game of Thrones. A, um, a shout out for Peter. Yes, Peter. Hey, Peter. Um, he uh, gave us Game of the Week, which was Tomb Raider, which I think is total bullshit. <laughs> Why is that? Because it's... You love Tomb Raider. But that was ages ago. Like... No, but it's still a really good game. Did you realise they're bringing out a second one? Really, really soon. All I liked was Butler What What, because he was just hilarious. Yeah, but remember, that wasn't his original name. Anyway, um, yeah, they bought out... they're going to bring out a second one. Um... You, mainly the boys played it for the obvious reason. <laughs> Girls played it more for the adventure, I guess. I think it was just funny when you got like shot in the fridge. No, freezer. No, no you, shot, you shot the butler in the fridge. Oh, yeah. You can't <laughs> shut her in the fridge because you just walk up to the door and it opens. But, you know, when you walk up to him, he'll eat you. He has no, he has no fridge, f fridge, fridge clearance. He can't open doors. Okay, well, what we got next? Well, we got app of the week. Yeah. There's no shout out for this one. Yeah, this is just him. Uh, bad piggies. Bad piggies. Um, Elizabeth, if you're not aware, you, you know, you know, um, um, Angry Birds. Mm -hmm. Well, they came up with a game based oh, around yeah, yeah, pigs, yeah, 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 and you yeah. basically have to build different um, yeah. structures to make get, get them around the map. It's okay. not, it's not a bad game. It is. So, um, different companies play it. So it looks nah. pretty cool. Okay, um, YouTube video of the week. Elizabeth, go for it. You've forgotten the name, haven't you? No. <laughs> oh, go on. I can always see it in my head. Can't you can't leave dumb, pause. dumb way to die. Dumb ways to die. Dumb it's a train die. safety video. Just type it in and it'll come up. Um, it's a little cartoon showing different ways or dumb ways to die. It's a really catchy tune. They also did a video game parody of it, which is not bad. Um, but let's go on to the subject next. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which I thought would be a good subject. They are bringing out a new film. Yeah, I know. Um, I saw in the advert that uh, this woman was saying, "Ooh, she he wet sorry she he wears a skin for a face as a mask. It's not a very good mask, but you know. yeah, no. Well, what, what do you think? I mean, you, did you actually see any of Chainsaw Massacre the original? Well, I saw. What what bit did you see? If you did see any, this woman was screaming. In all horrors and thrillers, yes. I, don't, I honestly don't remember. Just... Alright, okay. Well, for people who don't know, the original film, as far as I'm aware, some kids go out to Texas for some sort of gangbang holiday. And <laughs> they're in their little tr beep. Oh, I, I don't trailer? know. Trailer? Well, I'm Caravan? not sure. It's, it's camper van. They're in a camper van. And they encounter this woman on the road who, who claims that she's a survivor from some sort of massacre. And then she pulls a gun out of and um, she basically shoots herself through the head and then brains go all over the back of the thing and then they encounter this house where the I didn't see if they're from in, but all the best bit was watching the cop and <gasps> one of the people wrap this girl's head in cellophane like the stuff that mum wraps our sandwiches like in yeah it does sound like a hoot yeah, yeah, fr <sighs> sorry um, <laughs> fun for the whole family or well, family fun for the whole family family fun for the whole family yes Okay, um, alright, well, let's go on to funny stories. Do you want to go on to yours first, or...? No, you don't yours. I'm technically mine or yours. Okay. Um, in the first podcast, I mentioned that we went to a holiday in Greece. And this was the same holiday, same place, same everything. It was, uh, the only different thing was that it was in the morning before the 
projectile vomit incident. Um, Elizabeth, I'm not sure, was sunbathing or whatever, and I had encountered um, this one American and two British little kids. And what we did was we sort of just ran around the campus of this uh, this establishment, and it was a fair, it was a fairly big place. Mm. I mean, there, there were quite a few buildings there, and what we've done is we we'd gone into the pool, ran out, ran across this field, so we got really really muddy, and then ran into this building, and this woman who no word of a lie, looked exactly like Consuela from Family Guy. So she she was mopping up the floor, and then she had just finished, it looked really, really nice, and then these two, no, sorry, no, these three douchebags and a blonde kid ran past, basically spreading muddy footprints all over the floor. And you could just imagine her going, No, no, <laughs> little bastards. <laughs> It, it was quite literally the funniest thing we've ever done. Um, probably not for her, but if you're out there, um, Consuela look like mm. shout out to you. Okay, let's go with yours. <laughs> go on, go, go with your um. Sorry, go with your funny story. My funny story. Please don't break my notepad. Mm. I've already broken it once. Oh, yes. <laughs> Mine. Basically, um. Yeah, as I say, um, in Greece, we... No. Oh. Greece? Malta, wasn't it? I'm oh, sorry, Malta. Malta! Oh, you've been talking about Greece, I'm just... mm. um, Anyway, in Greece, we, like, met, obviously, like, in every holiday, you, like, meet kids and, like, your friends for the holiday. Anyway, we met this kid who... Pick up the phone. <laughs> no, go on, keep on going. It's cool. <laughs> Remember, this is going to be an audio version. We can't have pauses. Yeah, and, um, oh yeah, anyway, and there was this foreign kid, and, like, not being racist. Well, was he anything. German, wasn't Yeah, he? I think he might have been. He was, I think he was German. And, um, and what me and Alex were doing was we were just playing a game where we had to get out, as like, get out the port as fast as we could, and then jump in, get out, jump in, get out, and, like, see who was faster. Anyway, this kid... Like, he couldn't understand what he was saying, and he, he was laughing so much. In the end, he was pushing both me, Alex, um, both me and Alex in. Anyway, Speak for yourself, I was a brick wall. Yeah. <laughs> that kid couldn't push me in, even if he tried. And anyway, so, he pushed me in, and then I came back around, and he said at me, he was like... What are you going to make me in So then... <laughs> so then I... <laughs> so then I was just like... Right, okay, what have I done wrong? So then I, ju I just continued like, jumping in. You insulted his family. And then I, I saw him laughing. I was like, Ooh. what is he, like, what, what's wrong with him? And then... <laughs> what's wrong with him? Is he having some sort of nervous disorder? So then I looked towards my mum and dad, because they, <laughs> they were on the sunbeds. And, um, and they were both, like, they, they were like, come here. And my mum was like, you've got a hole in your bikini bottoms. I was like, what? She was like, yeah, right where your bum is. Like, exactly, like, right... Where the crevice is. Right Was it there. where the crevice is? Crevice? What's the, what's the crevice? <sighs> is, it, is it? Yes! In the middle of the bum tree? Yes! And in the bum hole? Yeah! Probably. Oh yeah. my yeah. god. Get around about yeah, there. Sure, anyway. why not? So, oh, sorry. Um, yeah, so, so he was laughing at the hole in my bum. No, not the hole in my bum, but the hole in my <laughs> yeah. Obviously, everyone has a hole in their bum, but you know, um, the hole in my king bum, so. Yeah. Peak times for me. Peak times. Got any more funny stories that you wish to throw at us? Nah. No? Alright, well, I've got the um, story. Um, our family went on a holiday together quite a lot with this other family that lived nearby the sea. Uh, unfortunately, I was a little bit too young to actually care where it was. But what, Jake and Alex? Yeah, Alex and Jake. Bournemouth. Wil Wilmoth. Bournemouth. Bournemouth. Oh. Wilmoth. Wilmoth. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. It's like Wilmington and Bournemouth put together. <laughs> yes. Okay, so Bournemouth. Yes. Bournemouth. Um, yeah. So we were we were all at uh, Bournemouth, mm -hmm. and there was a. I, I love miniature trains, not Hornby, but the ones where you sat on top of the carriage. And after we'd thoroughly exhausted ourselves from going on those for pretty much all day and you were bored stiff because you don't like trains. And I like trains. 
trains. <laughs> but you don't like trains. Um, Elizabeth was pretty depressed about the fact that well, she doesn't like trains. How old was I? Let's face it. I like trains. I must have been about three. I like trains. I don't go on holiday to watch cunty trains. Whoa! <laughs> Go back. Going around the CT word there. Um, anyway, um. Can I have some chocolate? No, you can't have some chocolate. She ate all of her chocolate. Anyway, um. So she was pretty depressed. Oh, get off the chocolate! Dang it! You get off the chocolate now! I'll get on with it. Yeah, okay. Um. So she was pretty depressed, and I. I don't know what got over me, but I thought I saw her head, and I went over and kissed her on the head and, and hugged her. So don't, it's all like this. Don't worry, Elizabeth. Come on, on the head, come on. Ready? Come on. They all know what it's like. Okay. Come on. How was that kiss? Yeah. You just went. Yeah, I know. I just rested my head against yours. Um. The love, the brother sisterly bond. Ah. Uh, anyway. Um. Mm. Uh. Yeah. So she. She must have been miles away, and I accidentally went over and cuddled and kissed this. Cuddled? And kissed this rather startled looking little girl. <laughs> I don't know what I did. I'm. Mm. Did I push her in a ditch or something? No, did any, anything to get away from that? No, because when I was little, I used to have those, you know. Right, okay, you see Russell Howard. If, if you've seen Russell Howard's Good News, he shows his like the picture. Whole yeah, he, he well, looks like Harry Potter. No, but he, what is it, man? he shows his picture of him when he was young, and he had like a bowl cut, and so did I when I was younger because my mum wouldn't let me have long hair because I used to twiddle my hair, and she's like, oh, it'll fall out, so I couldn't have long hair. Another funny yeah. story. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Save that for another time. Anyway, so yeah, um, there. Yes, yeah, so anyway, <laughs> and and back at that time, like quite a few girls my age had that kind of hair. So, yeah, and I had quite nice hair colour until I dyed it this gingery red colour. It looks very brown through the camera. Probably because we're in a yellowy sort of light, lighted room. But yeah, so basically I embarrassed myself by going over and kissing this girl on the head. That I had really no idea who it was. Oh, okay, here's, here's a funny story. Forgot about this one. Do you remember the pub? next to the five waterfalls and it it was nearby a railway station and I used to have duck there no and have you already lost one of the pads for that like the one of the oh you're such a... okay um <laughs> and there were there, there were f the five waterfalls and then it went across and the cars just thought no screw it let's just drive through them um who was it Oh, you, you, you understand. And there were fish in there. And on this one occasion, we got out for this really nice family dinner. Oh, Ailes food. There we go. Ah. Beauty, because I, I have no idea where it is. Oh, Ailes... Ailes food. No. Ailes <laughs> food, I think, yeah. Okay. Can you, like, move over? Because I'm not even in shot. Anyway, um... So, yeah. Stop it, Elizabeth. Uh, mm. And after this really f nice family dinner, um... I wasn't dressed for anything, but I insisted that I wanted to try and catch a fish. And I was standing on the very edge of this footpath that was right next to one of the first waterfalls. And the inevitable happened. I fell in, was dragged for about five metres. I don't know how I managed to yeah, pull myself down because the cause current was like quite strong. One, two... Three, four, five. You can't estimate the distance. There was a way bigger distance between the waterfalls than that. Whatever. Yeah, but they weren't waterfalls like the ones you find in Canada, yeah, where I they know. just keep on going. No, there were, there were more like hills in the landscape. But no, they, they I did quite literally get dragged for a couple of meters, and I got fished out. I was absolutely drenched, freezing. Um. But funny if you look back at it. <laughs> really quite funny. Um, do you have any shout outs, Elizabeth, you want to throw out before we end the podcast, even though it's only been about 15 minutes? Yeah. No. Yeah. 
You should really come up with some shout outs. Okay. Shout out to Oh, this better be good. Oh, oh. Hmm? To my favourite ever English teacher who has moved back to Canada. Peace out. Shout out for Mr. Wood. Flair. No, it's not ironic. We call him Flair because he had big nostrils. And he only found out on his last day and I brought him a present because I'm his loving like well. Wouldn't you have just called him <laughs> What? So I only heard the beat the bit the first bit. Okay. I should have thought about that. Yeah, exactly. Why? Why? I need to text my friend Mary. Why did you Mary? Why <laughs> why oh okay. Um, no news and games really at the moment because the only thing I'm interested in is Minecraft and Halo. So, um, Spartans starting soon. Hope you all enjoy it. Once I get my computer back and capture card, then we'll really start filming. Um, if you wish to get in contact with me via Twitter, my name is Alex Ridgely, space between the Alex and the Ridgely, Alex in the capital A and Ridgely in the capital R. Um, you can post your questions on there, but also in the comments section below. So, somewhere down here. Um, what's that, your Twitter? My well, Twitter, I don't know, we should call it short directions, or you get a point of reflection. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so, yeah, post, um, post your, post your funny stories to my Twitter or Elizabeth's Twitter that was mentioned at the end of the previous video please spread the word like favorite and share this video and until next time friends um I guess it's good goodbye from the cream tea podcast what's that oh is that your Twitter yeah all right okay yeah so uh I uh, guess we'll see you all next Sunday Bye. I'm going to turn it off now. <laughs>